Find a place to stand. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Oh my goodness. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. good. We got this. All right. There's, we, there's a fly near. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him. <laughs> okay. All right. We are in our childhood bedroom today. Oh, wow, it looks so different. <laughs> it's actually become my mom's storage room for Christmas decor. Yeah. So a whole room. Oh, which is not like not surprising to a lot of people, right? Like this is this is how you do Christmas. Yeah. And my mom loves decorating for Christmas. And honestly, we love coming home to our childhood home decorated for Christmas. I love right? everything about Christmas here, yeah. But it's a lot to manage. So if your area where you store decorations might look a little bit like this, we're gonna share some tips today how we can tackle it. And we're just gonna spend 15 minutes in here and make it 15 minutes better, but I know we can make a huge difference with it. Okay, I got my Diet Coke. Oh, what yep. do you got? <laughs> Coffee? All right, we got Ready? this. Ready? Go. Go. So Diana said, can we be overwhelmed by this or are we supposed to be the pros? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, this kind of space would overwhelm anyone. Anybody. Right? And so that's why we need to break it down. And so step number one is to group like stuff with like stuff. So we have some fall decor, Christmas. Uh, this also doubles as a sewing room. So there's some sewing stuff up here. So all we're going to do is roughly zone it. So Christmas is going to go over here, fall over here, sewing over there. It can be helpful if you're going to be leaving your space and then coming back a different time to actually put signs in the spaces. It's just like a really good visual cue of where everything goes. So we're just going to get started. So mom, what's this? Easter. It's, it's actually supposed to go like this. Oh, it's that's a so cute. Yeah. And that's the Easter bag over there. Okay. Oh, and we have Easter too. Okay. Easter zone. Here we go. We can do it. We got this. Alright, so we're gonna get to work just sorting like with like and zoning. Great. Okay, Easter here. Let's put all the pillows in the chair. See, because then you'll come across things like this. This is actually an empty bag, but it takes up a ton of floor space, you know? So it's like even just by either putting stuff oh. in it or using it as our garbage bag. Look, I already feel like I've made a win. Right Come here. on, <laughs> everybody. All right. Yeah. If you're playing along at home, we're cheering you on too. You got this. And I can't forget to mention that this is part of our mega motivation collaboration for November. So if you want to see 20 other friends decluttering and, and dealing with their Christmas decorations as well, check out the playlist down below. All right. So this can be our either garbage or we might put some stuff in it that we want to keep. Okay. So Easter, so okay. so growing up, mom, you you always decorated a ton for Christmas. Yes. And I love that. Our house yes. was very festive. Even though it was yes. small, we had lots of decorations. Where did you develop your love for Christmas? That's kind of a, a question, isn't it? Because I shouldn't like Christmas. Did you not have good Christmases growing up? I, I did. One of my, my grandest childhood memories is over Christmas with cousins at the yeah. farm. But um, my father died oh, just yeah. 10 days before Christmas. Yep. My mother died two days after Christmas and then um, lost a baby brother, you know, just a few weeks before Christmas. So, wow, that's yeah, a I lot of loss around Christmas. It is. I yeah. shouldn't like Christmas. I love Christmas. Yeah. So, and this so. is a fun part of my childhood yeah. and mine yeah so not what? childhood we were trying to remember i think we were in like middle school i think so when you started when these came out at kmart this is yep this is poinsettia and poinsettia and ribbons yeah fine china so for many made in china yeah yeah actually made in china <laughs> um so for many yes. years we got you various pieces, pieces to go with to go it with. serving pieces and candlesticks and salt and pepper and a gravy boat mm -hmm. my first gravy boat yeah so um yeah they are very near and dear to me yeah and we use them we use we them. do at christmas yep. and you when you have most mm -hmm. your friends and yep. Probably because this was one of the first sets of china you probably actually picked out yourself, right? Yes. So so this lives in your hutch year-round, and yes, I love that. It you does. have it out to enjoy and display, and yes. I think that's really And cool. I collected um, snowmen for quite a while, and when people know that, and this this is made, um, I have a very dear friend who does stained glass, that's and cool. this is called fusing, okay. and she has a kiln, Yeah. so that was that's a really fun piece. Yeah. This is a very dear treasure, and usually, now, oh. <laughs> it looks like there's tea in it. There's. <laughs> but anyway, what I do, and have done for many years, 
is I do not open my Christmas cards as they come into the house during mm -hmm. the season. I set them all aside in a very pretty basket. And on the 26th, I sit down and I fill this very special cup with coffee yeah. and I read my and open my Christmas cards. Yeah. And but what I have to do now is be conscious of because we missed a couple of Christmas parties. Invitations. Oh, okay. We're in the Christmas <laughs> cards and we missed them because we get calls like, how come you didn't come? And I'm like, oh, uh, no. okay. <laughs> so now I, I'm a little more aware. Yeah. But this is a cup of Christmas tea. Yeah. And if um any of you out there like my age, you're very familiar with this. This has actually the, had tea in it. Yeah, and the book that goes with and it, right? There's a book. Yeah. But this was very special. The story is just beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful story. And yeah. so it's a very beautiful Cookbook. piece. Mm -hmm. When So when your dad got me that one year for Christmas, that was, that was very, cool. very special. We had talked about actually decorating for Christmas now and then seeing what was left so that we could donate it or pass it on. But we didn't... Sometimes life just happens, right? It was, ended up it, being a little bit of a wild week. I, only in that your dad took a header in the cornfield, yeah. blew his knee, and I've been saying yes, dear, since <laughs> Wednesday at lunch. My mom called me this morning, and she's like, I don't think I can wait on your dad 24-7. She's like, it feels like it's like 28 or 29-7. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Like, 28 mom. eight. So... Ugh, oh, caregiving now, is he hard. Is, it is hard. And he's a good patient. Bless he's all a, the women and yeah. men who have that role. Yeah. And this is funny because he had um, rotator cuff surgery. Yeah, what, a couple one, years ago? Yeah, a couple years ago, each one. Well, the first one, I was very good. Here's your ice back. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and the second one, I was throwing them. Throw him from the freezer practically. <laughs> Catch your own ice pack. Yeah. I have things to do. You wanted a 50-50 yeah. wife. I, I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, but what you've done a great job getting rid of or letting go of stuff in your house. I have. But talking about this mm -hmm. and the china closet. Now, I can look at the china closet, and there are some pieces that um, I've picked up from garage sales. You know, the cute little bowl, the cute little mug, whatever. And I can let that go. Mm -hmm. And... But the, I can't. The sentimental stuff? Or? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um. You don't have a ton of it, though. Like, I don't have. Like it's contained. Amount. It is contained. Dana, yeah. it's contained. And like the a hoarder's heart says, you don't have to get rid of it until your heart says it's time. Yes, that's it's good. It's not time. I yet. like that. So I like that. And I won't be getting rid of it. I'll, I'll be talking somebody into taking it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Probably my grandkids. They'll like it. <laughs> yeah, that's it won't be you. <laughs> yeah. That's good. But what I do too, because I know some people say they don't want to put out decorations because it gets more cluttered. Yeah. I take away the day-to-day yes. -day decorations, right. put them in a box. Put them in the Christmas bins. It's right there. They come back up. And, the, and then mm -hmm. um, put out the Christmas. Yeah. And so it's an even I like swap. That. I yep. don't add to, yep. you know, I don't Well, and another thing you overload. did. Overload. Another thing you've done for many years is when you put the Christmas boxes back away, you would put a sign with the current year on yes. it. Yes. So you knew yes. it got used the I past used that year. last year, so I'm not looking. Yeah. You know, and then this it was, was enough. And then it was very telling when you'd see like, oh, Christmas 2009. <laughs> that stuff might not be getting used, right? Like that's pretty yes. telling. Yes. So, so that was a right. good idea. I thought that was really smart. Oh, yay. I had a good tip. <laughs> Well, yeah. thank you for uh, sharing your room with us, your storage room with us. Yeah. Today. Oh, this is a great room. Yeah. I love having this space. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's great, and we'll start bringing in Christmas gifts. Wait to till your kids here. move out. You yeah. get room. You get a room back. You get a room back. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. 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 And there's just a little bit of things left for you to take. There are always so, a few more. Right? <laughs> Diana went in her bedroom and went, oh, we should oh, get a dumpster. I know. I was and like, I'm like, oh, seriously, there's more here still? Whoa. <laughs> we'll okay. save that for another day. Okay. So. We'll save that for another day. All right. All right. So that was um, like nine minutes of work. Isn't that remarkable? <laughs> you did most of the work too. Diana got caught going down memory lane in our other bedroom. <laughs> Nana's throwing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably answer the question. So we shared this room like through middle school, I think. Uh -huh. And we had bunk beds. People yeah. always ask if we had bunk beds. We had bunk beds. On our birthday every year, we would switch who got to be on the, on top. the top bunk. Yeah. And then when we were in high school, there's three bedrooms up here and one was just being used as a storage room. So we cleared it out and that became my bedroom. 
But you actually like renovated it. This that might yeah. have been like your first like home <laughs> yeah. rental project. It still had like plaster walls, so yeah. we sheetrocked it and mudded and taped it. But what was funny? So then I was in the room behind here. Diana was in here by herself, and you didn't you didn't like that. Well, so then you actually switched bedrooms with Eric because oh, that yeah. had a door that came into my yeah. room. So then we'd have to leave the door open. So then it was still kind of like we were sharing a room. How do you remember all of this? I don't remember I don't know. that. <laughs> I'm very sentimental. You know, I would was be that like, what it was? probably. I'd be like, Don, we only have a couple years left together. Like, come on. Right. You so know? we would like talk between the two rooms, yeah. between the <laughs> open door. So, anyways, um, this space feels so much better and it didn't actually yeah. take that much time. And so, again, we know how. These places get like these spaces get like this. Like my mom was like, "Yeah, see how everything's like right inside the door." <laughs> like we would like send the kids up with stuff, and it's like, "Oh, right!" In, like so, people in our family do that too, right? If that happens to your space, it always feels intimidating and overwhelming. But we didn't get rid of anything in this room. Right. We literally just grouped like stuff with like stuff, and look how much space we made. And now the next step, of course, is to decorate for Christmas, Yay. which isn't actually that far away. Um, and as we decorate, then be aware of what's left in the bins and donate it now because a lot of donation centers won't take Christmas decor later in the year. So we want to yeah. get that out of the house now. So permission to decorate a little bit early. Do you decorate early? Oh, I've already started. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I love if, Christmas. <laughs> I know some people it's like hard and fast, like, yeah. Thanksgiving and that's it. Um, but permission to decorate a little bit early this year so you can see what's left over and donate that and have it out of the house so you have even less to put away at the end of the Christmas season, which will feel really good. And you have room to walk down memory lane. Yeah. <laughs> this is so fun. Yep, that's Diana, the nostalgic one, right? And I'm just like, get it, let's get to work. <laughs> so, all right, well, let us know down below what tips do you have for decluttering Christmas decor? It's always fun to hear your ideas too. And be sure to check out that playlist for our Mega Motivation collaboration. There's some really fun videos in there this month as well. But we love you, we hope that you have a great day, and we'll see you again soon. Merry Christmas. Oh, you're still doing that. <laughs>